Hello, this is Carolyn Herforth with The Biz Truth. I listened to a colleague talk to a group of entrepreneurs about their money story this week and it reminded me that we all have stories. We each have a story around money, a story around relationships, friends, family, health, fitness, and diet. Stories around what we do or don't do with our time. And we have stories around selling. I would say that about 80% of entrepreneurs I meet have a negative association with sales and I hear things like, ah, oh, it makes my skin crawl or it feels so pushy or it's so manipulative. Since my clients and I know that selling can actually be something to look forward to rather than fear and can be done in a completely above board and ethical way, I'm always curious to know the story behind someone's negative association with selling. I'm going to give you an example from one of my clients. When, when we met, she didn't like asking questions in sales conversations because she felt it was manipulative. And since questions are what we use to get to the bottom of a potential client's problem, I was more than curious, to say the least. After some digging, I learned that she had bought a program that she wasn't ready for. This was a while back, and when we backtracked, it turns out that the guy had used a less than savory questioning technique to get her into the program. So rather than just calling a spade a spade and acknowledging that man is being manipulative, she created a story that questions equal manipulation, therefore sales is manipulative. Since that's a pretty broad and inaccurate generalization, we spent time working through that along with other stories that had built up and created reluctance to sales for her and changed her story to say, I have good intentions and ask questions that help me best serve my clients. Voila, getting to the bottom of that inaccurate association opened up the floodgates and sales started coming in. So the next time you find yourself avoiding sales calls or telling yourself that it's yucky or icky, I want you to rethink your story and ditch the story, entrepreneur. Ditch the story.